What's up, guys? I wanted to talk to you about some alternative egg treatment methods today. I put in a couple extra reverse osmosis filters just to bump my TDS down a little bit further, and it's been enough that I'm starting to have some serious problems with the methylene blue treatment. I've had constant problems with my egg batches just never swimming at this point. They develop fully, they'll lay and they'll wiggle on the ground, but they don't develop the ability to actually swim, and I'm losing entire batches. So, recognizing that this happened right after I did the actual switch for my water treatment system, I've tried some other uh, treatments. Currently, hydrogen peroxide is working really well for me. So I want to walk you through uh, a couple of the alternative treatments that are available, and I want to show you a quick calculator that I came up with for dosing information, because trying to figure this stuff out by hand is kind of a pain in the ass. So there's three main treatments that you want to look at. Methylene blue, which I covered before. And this stuff works pretty well if you've got moderately hard or hard water, but the softer my water gets, the less this works. So you may have wonderful luck with this. I had absolutely terrific luck with it to begin with. Uh, this is if you have water that doesn't seem to cause problems. It's safe to use for the entire course of the egg treatment. You just put the eggs in at the start, you don't get any fungus, and you can leave it there. Uh, when I originally started using this, I didn't even bother changing it out. I let the babies just keep developing in it, and I just got rid of it with regular water changes. And I was having, you know, seven, eight hundred fry out of a batch of about a thousand eggs surviving without any issue, which, which was great. Uh, but with my very soft water at this point, I'm running into the issue where out of six or eight hundred eggs, I'm having two or three that survive. So this is a major problem. Second option is povidone iodine. And I dropped my cap, so I've got a little makeshift thing here going. Uh, this is betadine solution, and betadine is a 10% povidone iodine solution. It's just like the ovidine that you'll find on various fish stores and things. Uh, the difference between this or the generics that you might find at the drugstore and ovidine is this has a lot of other crap in it. Ovidine is just povidone iodine and water. And this is something that you really can't use for an extended amount of time. So what you do with this is you mix up a batch in fresh tank water and you give the eggs 30 minutes in it. And you don't do this more than once a day. Uh, I'm not able to use this, and I don't really know why. I know a lot of people have had very good luck with this, but this seems to cause my yolks to harden, so the babies never develop past day five. They all just die. Uh, so it's a good solution to know, especially if you have fish that have hardening eggs like catfish. If you want to do Plecostomus or something like that uh, because you're having issues, this is definitely something to do. The thing to know is on water-hardened eggs, things that take more than a few days to sit, you know, anything that's going to sit for two or three weeks, you want to double the dose of what I'm showing you on my website. Uh, anything else, the dose that I show is okay. Do it for 30 minutes a day. No more than that. The last thing is good old hydrogen peroxide. Uh, the stuff that they usually sell in drugstores, or you can see I got this on sale at Family, uh, Family Dollar, I guess is where it came from. Uh, most of these are 3% solutions, so you do need to make sure that you check that. Um, when I've got the calculations on this site, I'm assuming 3% because making you fill in the percentage of everything is... It's worth it if you're doing something like ammonia, but for this kind of stuff, it's just a pain in the butt. Uh, peroxide, you want to do about a 250 parts per million dosage for 15 minutes once a day if you're doing temporary treatment. If you're going to do constant treatment where you're just going to add it to a gallon of water and put the, put the eggs in it, then you want to do about 25 parts per million. So whatever I've got listed on my site, divide that by 10, and you're going to be good to go for permanent treatment. So let's go ahead and jump over and I'll show you how this calculator and everything works. And uh, hopefully it's something you guys will find useful. So the use of this is pretty simple. Uh, you can see I've got the standard doses here. 
The basic use of this is you select the kind of medication that you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to say hydrogen peroxide, and you select your actual volume. So I generally do one gallon water jugs, so one gallon, and it will tell me that in order to do a 15 minute treatment, I need 31 milliliters of water. And like I said earlier, if you're going to use a continuous treatment, use one tenth that. So if I'm going to add this to the gallon of water directly, and I'm going to just leave it there, then I use three milliliters. I try to design this so that you can do as many variations as you want. So if you've got, you know, a, a 10 ounce jug, and you want to leave it in there continuously, you're going to need five drops because that's one tenth of this. And that is a lot easier to work with than most of the things are. Um, there are some rounding issues because I went based on the recommended parts per million and not based on the actual instructions on the bottles. So, for instance, if you have 10 gallons, it says you need 99 drops of methylene blue, whereas one gallon is 10 drops. Uh, the actual doses on this are going to be more accurate than the doses on whatever jar of medicine that you buy. Uh, I should also note on this, while methylene blue and hydrogen peroxide are perfectly safe generally to use long term, depending on your water, uh, the iodine is not. Iodine cannot be used for more than a 30 minute treatment at a time. If you do, you will cause some serious problems with your fish fry. Uh, that's really it. I hope you guys find this particular tool useful. Uh, I know it saves me a lot of time when I'm doing treatment, when I want to check something. I don't always have the same sizes of jars around. So being able to say, hey, you know, I've got a two liter bottle and the top's cut off. What am I going to do for that? Just makes life easier for me. So we'll see you guys next time and uh, take care.